A home buyers in Singapore may soon get a better view of properties on a government 3D map built by what's called geospatial technology. A deal was signed with developers at GeoConnect Asia, an event which features the latest in the field. And similar tech can be used for anything from more accurate maps for faster food deliveries to better urban planning. Rebecca Mateo reports. This map here is a 3D clone of the entire Singapore landscape. It's created using artificial intelligence and satellite imagery. Together, they provide a realistic rendition of our buildings and streets. This is geospatial technology in action and a game changer for the security industry. Our first customer in Singapore is Savannah, Jurong and uh, Atos. We helped them build a new 5G command center where you know, we use our 3D city map as the canvas for them to ingest IOTs, CCTV sensors, so that they can have real-time situation awareness on the ground. The government has been tapping on similar geospatial tech, such as OneMap and OneMap 3D platforms for healthcare, transport and real estate purposes. Now, it's taking a step further by bringing property developers on board in a deal to promote the use of the technology in the sector. Looking ahead, as part of the MOU, we can potentially work with developers to place 3D models of their newly launched, yet-to-be-constructed projects on one map to showcase a more dynamic representation of properties with window views and shadow casting. SLA says the collaboration allows property agents to integrate more specific local data into their own platforms, while consumers can also benefit from the information to make more informed decisions. But where geospatial technology is concerned, the possibilities are practically endless. We are well placed to do this with our established infrastructure and conducive business environment. With the appropriate modifications, our adaptable urban geospatial solutions can also be scaled and introduced to many other areas in this region. Companies can thus take advantage of the hospitable conditions here, tap onto our adaptable solutions, reach out to the larger regional market and explore new and burgeoning opportunities. To harness the power of geospatial tech, Singapore also is working to foster interests and expertise to build a strong core of geospatial professionals in the region. And for more, we're joined by Rupert Owen, oh, co-founder of GeoConnect Asia. Well, Rupert, how does geospatial technology solve existing real-world problems? For example, uh, in solving current supply chain crunches or, say, preparing for the next pandemic? Uh, good evening, Liz. Um, thank you for having me. The logistics industry in particular is super stressed at the moment, as we know, and uh, the containers uh, that are sitting in ports at the moment and stacking up uh, are having a big impact on the supply chain going backwards so that uh, it's becoming very expensive for companies, not just for the shipping costs, but also for the port uh, handling costs, which means that some of the operators are having to uh, buy into extra space in and around ports. Um, and in Singapore, of course, space is at a premium. So it's sometimes multi-story uh, tracking. Um, so if you have a a tab on your container, then it goes inside a building of multi-stories, then perhaps the, the 3C, 3G signal drops off. So you've got to uh, track those uh, containers separately on a different uh, tracking system. And then also you have the risk of, spe specifically for perishable goods, that uh, the goods actually start deteriorating if they're sitting in a port longer than they should be. So uh, GEO uh, certainly helps uh, track the containers, but above all else, for the just-in-time manufacturers, it offers the opportunity to make sure that the actual product leaves the factory on time to be able to have as quick a loading opportunity as is possible, even if a port is congested. Yeah, let's look, let's look at uh, you know its users more closely. So, uh, in the local context, uh, what are the key sectors where geospatial technology you know could prove uh, to be a game changer? I think the, the message from uh, GeoConnect Asia and from our from the for the industry is really to bring geotech down to uh, the consumer, 
And I think the consumer is already aware that uh, there are many ways in which they are being tracked, but there's also a lot of information out there which is to their benefit. So location intelligence is the core of all, all activities. So we're talking about people, place and space and putting those together. So we're talking about the recent COVID uh, clinics that are being set up, to ART testing centres. We mentioned one map and the great work the uh, GeoWorks and Singapore Land Authority is doing to um, bring together uh, new ideas for the consumer and uh, using uh, technology to be able to put that information in the hands of consumers. So that can be for safety for women, or it can be for uh, finding your nearest primary school, which is a very popular subject in Singapore. Um, and through one map in particular, going onto a 3D scale, being able to offer at, in the hand the same information that might be available um, only uh, from a satellite previously or from a Google map, but uh, making it more accessible all around for all kinds of services. Yeah, and I'm sure Singaporeans will be very keen and very excited to see those uh, solutions come to life, especially the primary school one. Um, but what are the main challenges, you know, of, uh, that Singapore could face in enhancing its geospatial cap capabilities? I think one of, the, one of the issues we've learned, and even in just the first day of Connect Asia, is that Singapore is such a leader in this field. And uh, the actual uh, changes in the marketplace at the moment around Southeast Asia, one has to be very aware that the smart city model um, and the uh, great work that's been done under the Smart Nation initiative is not necessarily a model that's going to work in Phnom Penh and perhaps in uh, Hanoi and other cities in it for the immediate future. So I think Singapore, in a way, is battling ahead with its own models, and therefore it takes risks in doing that, but it's got a great support infrastructure. Um, skills are obviously a major issue for, for all industries at the moment, and geospatial being such a brand new industry and location intelligence with it, um, you need data scientists, you need all kinds of uh, experts in the field who are not necessarily widely available, but the education establishments in Singapore are certainly catering for that. Um, so talent, talent mm. is a major, major issue. And then there's the whole challenge um, in Southeast Asia and globally of uh, matters such as critical matters such as climate change, which cannot be handled by a, a city state on its own. It needs cooperation. And when it needs cooperation, that also means that data exchange is important. And of course, interoperability of data is, is, is a crucial part of this. And of course, the sharing of data is very sensitive to GDP issues. So there's a lot of work to be done, I think, in building up data sets, which then can be shared between countries. And then Malaysia, Singapore and its immediate neighbours can then benefit by sharing, pooling some of this data, but also finding ways in which it can be collected and stored and then um, kept in a domain. Mm. Oh, many thanks for speaking with us. Rupert Owen there, he's co-founder of GeoConnect Asia.